Hey guys, how are you? It's Jean Watts, and I'm doing my first Halloween tutorial uh, uh, YouTube video, and it is going to be Pamela Anderson. Um, I know Kendall Jenner did this last year for her birthday. They're doing a docu-series on her and she's just an icon and sometimes people say I look like her. So I thought this would be really fun to do. I did not practice any of this. I have no idea what I'm doing. So you're gonna be watching me do this for the first time. So I really hope this turns out the way I'm hoping. All right, let's go. Okay, so I don't have rubbing alcohol. I'm not home right now. So I'm gonna use Derma Ease Essential Radiance Toner and a cotton ball. <laughs> and I'm gonna clean off my eyebrows as much as I can and get everything that was on there off. So making sure that it's all clean because right now I'm about to glue down my eyebrows. Cause you can't be Pamela Anderson without drawing an eyebrow. So I saw, I did see this tutorial online or a couple of them and I got this um, on Amazon and it's uh, just normal like glue on a stick and it's the purple one. So it's supposed to come, you know, go on purple and it's supposed to dry clear. So I'm also gonna take a little spoolie like this and okay, let's go. So I'm gonna put the glue against the hair. I'm trying to get as much glue as I can on the eyebrow. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna be looking crazy. And I'm just gonna brush these up. I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'm gonna do four more coats. Yes, I said four. You want these to be flat. So, I'm gonna let these dry in a minute, and I will be right back. By the way, you know what I look like right now? I look like the beast when he comes back to human form in Beauty and the Beast right now. I had to share that. Okay, bye. Okay, so it's dry. It's definitely not flat yet. So I'm gonna put on another coat. And make sure that all these hairs are flat against my skin. What I'm kind of noticing this third time, I'm not gonna keep going with my brush because I feel like it's kind of lifting the hairs and it's going against it. So, see this is drying really fast. I'm not home right now, so I don't have like a close-up mirror. I'm using like the only bathroom mirror I have. So this is gonna be <laughs> fantastic. All right, that dried already. All right, going in with the fourth one. This is feeling really flat. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait to cover this up. I don't feel like I got these hairs right here down all the way. I'm just gonna do a sixth one right there and here. All right, we're almost done. Okay, so now that I feel like they're really dry, I'm gonna take my Laura Mossier setting powder, get my little travel one with me, and I'm going to dust the area. So now I'm going to take foundation and I'm going to put it on the brows just to really cover them up. And I'm using my Tarte uh, Shape Tape in light medium sand. And I'm going to, oh, I hope this turns out the way I'm hoping. I've always wanted to know what I look like with no eyebrows and now I'm living my dreams. <laughs> All 
I, I feel like this is the best it's gonna get right now. <laughs> okay, so now that I got kind of the foundation out, I'm gonna set it again with my Laura Mercier um, powder. So I'm going to take uh, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in shade 6.25. I'm going to take a brush like this and apply it on there. So I'm struggling to really mask this, these brows that I got. So I'm going to try to take my MAC, which is one of their concealers, and I'm gonna take a brush like this. I'm gonna try to dab it on. So, realistically, this is as good as it's gonna get. So I have foundation on, I have concealer on. I am now gonna do some contour. And I'm gonna take my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Powder. So I'm gonna take a brush like this and I'm gonna start slowly shaping my face by bringing it up here and down here. Okay, so first what I'm gonna do with the eyeshadow is I'm gonna take my MAC color and saddle and I'm gonna take a brush like this and I'm gonna get some product on there and I'm gonna start contouring the eye. And now I'm gonna take a brush like this and put it underneath. I'm gonna take a brush like this and then I'm gonna take my this uh, darker color right here from this palette and get some product down there. And I'm really gonna aim towards just right here. I'm gonna take the same brush that I use for saddle and I'm gonna put a little of this darker color that I use on the top. All right, so now that I have like kind of the saddle, the brown and the, and the navy blue, I'm now going in with my Estee Lauder in lavish mink matte, which is like a matte black um, eyeshadow. And I'm taking a brush like this and I'm gonna go with some color. And I really wanna create that V again here, but it's like a real lift. And around here. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna go in with the brush that I use with saddle, and I'm also gonna go back in with the saddle and help kind of buff out this black. So I'm gonna use this brush because it just is more pointier. And I'm gonna go with this black, and I'm just gonna really focus on just like the outer corners right there. And the outer corners right there. So. Again, just really making sure that this is black and let's go. Because I have access underneath, I'm taking the cotton swab that I had of the um, of my toner. And I'm gonna lightly. Okay, so now I'm trying to clean it up with my concealer brush. So now that I have most of the eye black eyeshadow on, I'm gonna take my L'Oreal's, it's their pen that I got from CVS, and I'm gonna do my cat eye that I usually do, which is from the outer corners, as you guys know, from my other tutorials. I'm going to take a brush like this, and this is my ColourPop E13. And I'm also gonna take this white and like a little bit of this. And I'm gonna start putting it right here. And I'm gonna go in with my brush that uses saddle and kind of help buff 
this out and we'll go back with the one I did the blue with. I'm gonna now go in with this liner. And usually I only do it right there, but I'm going to go all the way across my eyelid. <laughs> this might look crazy. Again, I don't have a mirror that's close up and I don't have contacts and I need them. <laughs> so I can't tell if this is as accurate as I want it to be. But for my shitty vision right now, it looks pretty okay. Now that I have some liner, I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs in shade Earthquake and I'm gonna put it on my upper lid. I'm going to use these lashes that are from Ardell and they're in Wispies. So I'm gonna take my black glue on there. I'm gonna add a little bit of this bronzer from Patrick Ta. All right, so I'm gonna take my I, uh, eyebrow shadow. Again, this this brand is discontinued, but they're just like dark matte. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I feel like hers starts a little lower and it's more of a round. So right now I'm taking a, a brush like this. I'm literally learning this as we go for the millionth time. So I'm taking a brush like this, getting some powder, and I'm just dabbing in. I feel like that's working for me right now. Okay, so I had to take a second to look at pictures of her to make sure I was doing it right. I don't feel they're, they're as close together. And I'm gonna clean up this eyeshadow. It's not, her eyeshadow was never really as buffed out. So I'm gonna just take this cotton swab and very lightly shape the eyeshadow. I'm gonna take the black eyeshadow and I'm gonna bring it forward. I feel like hers is a little more like that. I'm gonna put some mascara underneath my eyes. So I'm gonna take my, my Patrick Ta brush like this and the bronzer from Patrick Ta and just sculpt a little bit. I'm definitely gonna go around my jawline and up here. I'm going to take my ColourPop blush and I'm going to put it on my cheeks. Okay, so I just put on NYX um, lipstick in, in Summer Love and now I'm going to take my um, Kat Von D's Everlasting Lip Liner in Lolita and I'm going to on my lips. So I'm gonna take my color. <laughs> I'm gonna take my ColourPop highlighter and uh, blow me out. Super shock cheek. It's just like a champagne highlighter. Going to highlight. And then I'm gonna put some highlighter in the inner corners of my eye and on my eyebrow up here, my new eyebrows, okay, but I'm going to put some mascara, I forgot to do that, to blend in with my lashes, I'm going to put a little more underneath. I'm gonna take some black and put it right here. Just a little more, I think it just needs one more final. Okay, 
Okay, so for my hair, I am going to take a curling iron like this. <laughs> I feel like this kind of looks legit. Um, and I'm just really, doesn't it have to be perfect. I actually kind of always had that really sexy bed head look. And I'm just gonna go with my, my the ends of my hair. I try to leave my hair a little dirty. So I'm curling the ends mostly and up. I really, really want the ends to be curly and not like beach waves where the ends are a little straight. Again, with this look, I'm, as you can tell, I'm not being very like brushing my hair out and really doing it. I'm, I want it to be a little messy. <laughs> you know, if I was really committed, oh, well, maybe I should. I got to. All right, just because I have to for the art of this video. I am gonna take, oh, I'm gonna regret this. Don't do this unless you're crazy like me. But I'm just gonna take the baby hairs, so it won't be that bad. All right, so don't try this at home. Don't be crazy like me. But I'm gonna take these front and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of clip these over a little more. This curling iron, I'm not gonna like really press on it super hard. Right. Okay. So I curled it. So it did make it a little shorter. I'm gonna take my hair right here, just this upper half. Again, does not have to be perfect. I'm gonna take it, twist it, and I'm gonna pin it this way. I'm gonna pin it down up here and down right here. Okay. And now I'm gonna take the rest of it, twist it up like a French twist. And I'm gonna take just a clip like this, just to make my life a lot easier, and just clip it in. And I'm gonna start messing with the hair around it. I'm just gonna keep messing around, see what looks more like Pamela. I'm gonna set underneath my eyes because my uh, mascara is starting to bleed. All right, so these sides I brought down, I'm gonna curl them. I'm gonna bring some hair in the back and bring that down and curl it, all these broken pieces. All right, so I'm gonna leave it like this for right now and I'm gonna change. So I got this one shirt from Amazon and I'll put a link in my bio and I also did this uh, skirt in bio, so pause. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so I feel like if you're gonna do Pamela Anderson, you cannot be Pamela Anderson without her iconic barbed wire tattoo. So I'm gonna choose this one. I feel like this one's closer to her. Okay, so I got her barbed wire tattoo. Um. Okay, what else did I get? I also, oh, I got fake nails. So, I play guitar, so I can't really have long fake nails. So, I got these kiss nails, the French tips. And I'm gonna put them on real quick, so hold up. <laughs> okay, so here it is. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think, um, if you guys have any questions, and uh, or if there's any any recommendations on what I should do next. Okay, bye.